Hello everyone and welcome back to Alma Misery with me Adam. So the map's had an update, it's gone from to one point zero point zero point five now and it updated a whole load of stuff. So around the farm you see a well, around the map you see a few different things like the new colourful buildings that I have I've put in a new fence if I go here I had to re -put the, redo the fence at the front and put in the buildings and of course the dreaded trees at back. So I've got to get a chainsaw again to cut these things. But apart from that, it's not too bad. I just had to put a few things back. So I've literally just come home from work and started cutting the rye. And I'll finish that. I'll show you how much I got in a minute. I just want to start on this no course field position generate course right That's one way of doing it, I suppose. Anyway, I won't look at that again. So, let's drive the truck and the tiny bit of rye I got in it and empty it out. Expecting a bit more than that in the back, but turns out that's all we got from the last pass. So, let's just cruise on up. That's that empty. I'll go park this down by the wheat field and get from there. Right. So We've got a whole load of straw to collect, like a whole load, because I've even got the wheat off uh, the straw off the wheat field. So I've got to do that. My alfalfa is ready to cut as well. I'm not too worried about this one at the moment. Just it's there in the background. I'm going to turn the flight mode off. Let's go back here. My cows are at 70%, which isn't too bad. I've got bales everywhere. I've got some bales here that I brought. These are just silage bales. <coughs> so they're ready to go into TMR. I've got this chaff here that I still need to fill up. And this is ready to cut, so I might cut it and fill it, cut it and fill it. But we'll see. I might, I'll probably do that off screen. I've got 20,000 litres of manure. Nearly maxed out in milk. So 
that. I still got one ball. I've got foods that are okay. Four months since given birth. Three months. Okay, so we're getting there with them. Doing with the sheep. Twenty four sheep. They are doing very well. The little ones are growing up fast. So I'm wondering if I can actually feel this because it's huge. But I'm going to attempt it anyway, with the corn. When that finishes, finishes the uh, process of growing. Has that got weeds in it? Probably. Alright, I need to go and empty him. So, I am wondering where I can put my bales at the moment, because I'm going to have all the straw as well. Now, I could sell some of it. I might do that. I'm not too sure yet. I got these hay bales here. I got these straw bales here. Plus many more to come. I've got this here. But I don't know if I can store bales in here. It might be a bit low. So what I was thinking. Bear with me. Getting a couple of wall pieces. And then sectioning it off. A bit like this. And then filling one side with straw, one with hay. And then the tidying are out of the way. But if I do it with a nice long one maybe and go from there because they don't cost much but we'll, we'll see I'll always go down this route but that's where I'm at so, I want to get the bales sorted. I'll probably end up changing the baler at some point. Not just yet though. Only because... If I make TMR bales, I can use this. But they will be round bales. But I don't know. We'll see.
We'll see how many bales I can put down before the game absolutely cries. So what's that? Is running around. I have up here ready to rock and roll. The big fence. Oh, I'm set to 240. Let's see how well that goes. So I'm just going to knock out a few, few laps. Let's see how many I can get done. And all this tour is literally going straight over the other side to the other farm, I reckon. Because by the time the cows are bred again, I'm gonna just be so busy with the cows. Keep, I'm gonna keep breeding those Angus ones because they're my money makers. Because they'll be bread for the meat, and then I've got the other ones which give me the milk, obviously. So so hopefully, I can build at the farm. I need to change the um, animal feeder in, into an actual self-propelled one as well at some point. But when you've got finances to pay, I've got fifteen thousand ev every month that needs to be paid out. adds up so I've got this rye that I've collected off this field here oh, I don't even know how much I got in total I'll have a look as soon as I've done this pass and then we'll see where we're at but some of that will be turned into seed because I could make a lot more money out of that. I just need to get some seed pallets for the conveyor belt thing. Like the treatment stuff. So we're pumping out these bales really, really quickly at the moment. Doing well. Still got a long way with this field to go, but we're getting there. Leave that there. Run back over to this one. And off we go. Just 
So in terms of what I'm going to plant in this field next is not going to be anything to do with straw. <coughs> I'm going to have more than enough straw. I reckon. So we'll try something new. Hopefully we'll s see where we get to in terms of times a year and what we can plant. I'm not one for keeping the fields ploughed or not used because <coughs> that's where your money's really made. The more you have in the ground every year the better, the more harvest you can do. It's probably not realistic. You can only do so much with what you got. So I've already done sunflowers and corn. Actually that would be a good one to do. Another corn, a couple of corn fields and then take it to the gr uh, corn dryer and sell it as dried corn. That's something we haven't done. That'd be another manufacturing process. Hmm. I don't want to turn them into grass fields. As tempting as it looks, it's, like, it's going to be a lot of grass fields because I've got that big one on the other farm. I only need it for hay, for the cows and the sheep. Um, I've got that massive field that I've planted corn in. That's sol solely for chaff at the moment for the the bunker mm. yes yeah, so I think I've got enough of that now that I've definitely got enough straw bales I've got enough to stockpile and sit on those for a bit just need to get a bit more hay and then work on the silage I got the five or six silage bales on that trailer they're just to keep me going until my corn's ready And then that corn goes into the bunker. I've got so many bales on this field. Yes, we, we've got plenty that we can do, it's just funds at the moment. The dreaded cost of working on a farm. I suppose it's a bit like Clarkson's farm at Chadlington where he just put all the money into the farm and thought we made a profit and then at the end of the year you got to put it back in the grounds as fertiliser. 
and you really don't come out with much. But we will start making a profit at some point. We've got rid of the pigs now. So that's one headache where you don't have to worry about trying to get root crops in the ground for them. I've just got to worry about the, the two main ones, the cows and the sheep. And I'm getting the wool from the sheep as well. There is money to be made, definitely. We haven't got long until Farmer Simulator 25 comes out. When that comes out, I think it's going to get absolutely hammered. I still haven't pre-ordered that. I'm um, sort of, because every farming simulator I've had, I've got it on Steam. This current one, that FS22 or whatever we're on at the moment, I got it off the main website. Now the only issue I've had with that is the slow download times. is a bit of a pain so I might go through like Steam or Epic Games or something like that so that it's constantly updated it's up to scratch all the time I haven't got to worry about uninstalling and re reinstalling and getting my files corrupted which has been the biggest issue of this, this one so far And um, yes, so that's where I'm at, so I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I haven't used any what YouTubers code like FSG or Argsy or anyone. I've just sat on the sidelines and just waiting for the time. Because I'm not even going to be home when it comes out, which is the annoying thing. I'm going to be in England. Not in Australia, so. So, I'm gonna try and get it all going for when I come back. I can just hit the ground running. Get five or six episodes done. Go from there. I'm trying to wrap up um, this series and the but. Valley Spring one at the moment, but I'm still going to be playing it on those, the, these two maps that I'm doing at the moment for the time being. I'm just hoping I don't overextend myself too much. I'm starting to get a lot of bales in this field and I've got to collect them. So 
So yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know how I'm going to do it yet on the new FS25. I might just have to have a look at the maps and see what's what. might even have a look at into trying to do a few tutorials for the new new people coming up coming onto the game for the first time. I'd like to try out the new crops like the rice. Things like that. See what the new animals. But the mods for that is they're gonna they're not gonna be the best to start with, so I'm gonna just try and keep it to base game stuff to start with. Hopefully the AI is gonna be a lot better than what it is currently in this one because it still doesn't really work very well but I can't wait for it, it's, it's going gonna, gonna to be interesting I'm going to have decent maps I mean the graphics are going to be really 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 good my main concern is that I am running a NVIDIA GTX 3070 or RTX G uh, 3070 whichever it is, it's definitely a 3070 anyway I'm hoping it's going to be powerful enough and not have an issue playing the game because at the moment I play the game in 4K and I render it down to 1080p just to make life easier for me because uploading a 4K video is going to take a long time so I just try to keep it to 1080p Let's see where we go and see how the game looks when it comes out. I'm nearly done on this field as well, which is good. Be a lot of road trips here. Those bales, so many bales. It's going to be over a hundred here on this field. I still got that one to do yet. So, in the new 
Ramen Simulator when it comes out. I don't know if I'll be running the season straight away. I'll probably put it in hard mode straight away. Oh, I'm probably on normal at the moment on this one, but it's very easy still. So I'll probably create it in the hard mode. Give myself a rough amount of money. Probably like a couple hundred thousand or whatever. And I, I want to do what I've done in Horon County where I built my farm from scratch at where I cut down the trees in the wood and, and then got rid of all the stumps and leveled out the ground and built an actual farm that, like that instead of having these pre-made ones don't get me wrong, they're good, but I, I like building. I like building those sort of things. Because you can have it set how you would like it. And then you can, um, well, I feel like I enjoy it more doing it that way. It's the same with this, this map. When I first started it, I was tempted just to level out all the buildings and then make a farm myself but I didn't because I'm only using the giant software stuff on this let's play so I was very limited in what I can use obviously I've had to use some oh no I'm full I've had to use some other mods for um, buildings but I haven't used any like tractors or whatever it's all been DLCs and whatever mods are on the mod hub with giant software on them That's 58,000 litres of wheat and that's me running over my sunflowers. Good job. So this farm here I wanted to completely level out and redo. But I didn't. I'm going to go to the end of these rows I'm going to call that an episode because that's a lot of work this bailing I'm halfway through that other field as well so hopefully when when we're back in there episode after this one we'll have an idea of where we're at what we need
leave that there. Just finish up these rows and then job done. Now I've got the almighty task of collecting all these bales. Luckily, I'm in the position to have an auto loader. So I'm just drive up to them and collect them. Is everything done? Let's collect this last little bit. Done. I can unload. Fold the baler. There you go. I have no idea how many bales I've done today, but it's not 251, it feels like it, but it's not. So, let's sit in the combine for a sec. So, I've harvested this one. We ended up having a good yield on that, that one for the rye. Looks like we got a good yield as well on the wheat. So the rye we got 227,660 litres which has a maximum value of 200,000 but I might turn it all into seed with the sea treatment stuff and that should triple it and then I've got fifty one thousand dollars worth of wheat which is fifty eight thousand exactly at the moment Just jump out what else is going on not a lot. So I just need to work on the health of these cows and then we'll be golden. I don't know what age these lambs become sheep. But we just keep going along with it. We'll work it out eventually. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next episode. And hopefully you'll be back when it gets to November the twelfth and we'll be playing farming simulator. 25. Goodbye for now.